Hello, my little mathematicians. Today, I'm going to help you get started on your um, box plot or box and whisker plot homework. Several things. Um, I'm going to give you a few little hints. Okay, so up here, um, if it's true, like, first of all, you actually should work it out and check it. And then if it's true, just put true. But if it's false, then like correct it and put what would actually make it be true. Okay, put the correct answer. Um, now, one thing is, remember, where's the median? Yeah, the median is that line down the center. Okay, to help you find the range, what would you do? You'd look at the minimum and maximum value. So look at where the beginning hits down and where the end hits down. And you do the biggest minus the smallest to find the range. Um, the inner quartile range, or the IQR, that's what? Yeah, that's the top of your box minus the bottom of your box. Okay. Um, also, the other hint I want to give you for this top section is that Remember, each of those are split into 25 percentages. So like here's the median, which splits this in half and this in half, right? And then you found the median of the lower half, that's the lower quartile. So that means now it splits this into 25% and this into 25%. And then the median splits the upper half um, right here. And then when you find the upper quartile, that's the halfway point of the upper 50%. So this is 25% and this is 25%. So use that logic that this is the uppermost 25%, this is 25%, this is 25%, this is 25%. Uh, if it talks about 50% of the data, that's these two sections or these two sections or even like the middle box. Um, and if it's three sections, well, three 25s is 75% or three fourths. Okay, that's my hint to you to help you um, figure those out. Okay, and again, if they're false, don't forget to actually correct it. Okay, the other thing I want to give you a hint of is this one's already in order, so you can start crossing off to find the median. But before you can do that for this one, you first need to go ahead and put them in order. So pause it, put them in order. Okay, now you unpaused it and you're back with us. You should have put a six first, okay? And then you saw that there was one eight, and then that there was two nines. And see how I'm crossing them off as I go? Um, and then there was one ten. There was two 11s, um, one 12, and then one 14, two 15s, a 16, and a 19. And before I start doing anything, I always double check. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 numbers in the data set. So you should have written down 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Because if you didn't write them all down or you missed one or added one too many, then automatically everything from here on out is going to be wrong, right? So make sure that you actually do that. Okay, now it goes from 6 to 19. So typically they like to start one less than that. So 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. That worked out perfect. Okay, so 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. And I just spaced it out where I labeled every other one just so it wasn't so crammed. Okay, and then you're going to go ahead and cross off to find the median, plot it, cross off to find the lower quartile, plot it, cross off to find the upper quartile, plot it, and then also plot your minimum and maximum. All right, you got this, my little mathematicians. You're going to do great.